What is up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Dragon Ball 24-7 Podcast. This is the eighth episode in this podcast series. I'm your host, Jesse Goku, and today, instead of continuing the subject that I promised that we would continue, which was, is Dragon Ball GT still canon? We're going to push that even further. And I made that disclaimer in the last podcast that we didn't know when we were going to pick that subject back up. It could have been the next podcast, the next three podcasts, because right now, the hot subject that everyone is talking about is Future Trunks coming back to Dragon Ball. He will be making an appearance on Dragon Ball Super June 12th, the day after Kamehameha Day. We also learned that the new antagonist for this new arc is known as Goku Black. Now, this has raised a lot of questions and a lot of speculation as to who he could be. No one really knows. Everyone is speculating that it's like a like a black Goku, like an actual black skin of Goku. No one knows. All we know is that it's Goku Black. Now, see, that could have... And that could mean so many things. Um, I was speaking to some friends earlier, and one of them actually had uh, a, an, a theory as to what it could be. Because Trunks' timeline is an alternate future, and it kind of branches out into its own universe, could his universe be one of the twelve? Not only that, could the Goku Black be a god of destruction for that universe? Because in episode 42, Wiz did say that some of the other gods of destruction are even more dangerous and bigger sore losers than Beerus and Champa. And when Trunks comes back to the past to seek Goku and Vegeta's help, it is said that he narrowly escapes with his life, meaning that he must come. He might be coming back bloodied and beaten and, and you know, just hanging on by a string. And that's why he's come to Goku and Vegeta for help. Because what would be strong enough to cause him to go back in time to seek help from Goku and Vegeta? And, and a lot of people are, are, are afraid that, you know, the Trunks is going to become... A side character like Yamcha, Chan, and Gohan. They're afraid that they're going to... He's going to be gohan in Dragon Ball Super. I don't think that's the case because Dragon Ball Super is kind of doing Vegeta justice. They're doing... They're going to start... They, they kind of picked up Piccolo a little bit. A bigger role. In the end of Z, he was more of a mentor. In Super, he's already fought a little. And I, I think they're kind of hinting that Gohan is going to make a comeback as far as being badass again. But Trunks was one of the most popular characters in the Dragon Ball franchise, and I don't think that they would tarnish his reputation by making him a low-tier character. I think that they're going to push him even further, and hopefully he does stay in Dragon Ball Super this time around instead of coming back and then going back to the future. Hopefully he does stick around and become part of the Team 7 universe for the Omniverse Tournament. But this this arc says it's supposed to it's supposed to expand through time and space, and it's supposed to get the Kaioshin, the God of Destruction, and even the Omni King involved. That is really intense because the magnitude of a villain to get the Omni King involved has to be really intense. And so, as far as this Black Goku goes, or Goku Black. Could he be a god of destruction? A lot of people are speculating that maybe it's an evil version of Goku. I don't want to think that because Goku did die in the Trunks timeline. Maybe it could be so many things. And it's it's hard to speculate because Goku's dead in Trunks' timeline. He died of a heart virus. He wasn't murdered or killed. Yes, he was killed by a virus. But does that count as dying of a natural cause? And how would he come back to life? I mean, he's... I don't see the Kai's... The way Goku came back to life since he had been dead for seven years, Elder Kai had to give his life for Goku so Goku could come back. And since the... And that, that also leads into the multiverse thing. Is Trunks' universe an alternate universe? Is it one of the 12 universes? Does his universe play a role? Or is it just an alternate reality to Universe 7? And will that go further into a, a bigger multiverse than we already know? Maybe there's more than 12. Maybe there's like 
maybe the Xeno King is in charge of these twelve, and maybe there's maybe the the twelve universes are kind of like um, you know how each universe is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Maybe that's like maybe the Omniverse is kind of like one of twenty or something like that. Maybe and this is all speculation. We won't really know until we get a fur further analysis of the episode. Maybe it's connected to the the copy Vegeta thing. Or maybe, maybe it has something to do... Well, okay, before I continue with any theories, I want to point out that a lot of people have been speculating that maybe something, maybe it has something to do with Goku's powers uh, being um, unstable at the moment. I want to address that rumor. I don't think that's true in the sense that Trunks' timeline did not change once he helped save the past from the androids and Cell. His future stayed the same, which is why it created an alternate universe, the multiverse effect for that. And besides, Trunks... There were different future Trunks. There was the future Trunks that Cell had killed from that timeline. There's the future Trunks that we know that came to the past and then goes to the future and defeats Cell. And then there's Time Patrol Trunks who in the MMO, it was never clarified. None of this was actually confirmed, but it's heavily speculated that he comes from a timeline where the androids didn't exist. And instead of traveling pa to the past, he travels to the future. Because in to help defeat Mira, because in the year 3000, Mira has already won. And I'm kind of disappointed that it's not Mira at the same time. I'm, nonetheless, I am excited to see where this storyline is going to go. As far as the Goku Black goes, could he be a god of destruction? I don't believe that he's a, a Goku gone evil because, like I said, the Goku in Trunks' timeline is dead, and what happens in the Universe 7 timeline does not directly affect Trunks' timeline, future Trunks' timeline, considering that if the Cell Saga, of all the events of the Cell Saga, the Android Saga didn't affect Trunks' timeline, then why would it now? And Goten is a very strong indication that it doesn't affect his timeline, because Goten doesn't exist in Trunks' world, and Goten does exist in Universe 7, and that's the biggest nail on the coffin that is that Goku possibly being Universe 7 Goku in the future because of his powers being unstable maybe it corrupts or maybe turns evil I think this isn't directly another I don't think this is directly the same Goku I think this is somehow a god version of Goku maybe like a god of destruction and I want to give credit to my friend uh, Leon Robbins who goes by uh, his, his cosplay pages why the why not cosplay um you can sh i'll post the link below i'm not really sure what his cosplay page is but my friend's name is leon robbins he um he was the one who told me about the theory about the goku black possibly being a god of destruction and i guess i could kind of see that but at the same time i, I want to believe it has something related to mira and that's just high hope that's just me hoping that it is and it could strongly be that maybe this guy is like a god of destruction and that's why the Kaioshin, the gods of destruction, and the Omni King himself have to get involved. It's the only way I would see this going that far if this guy is like a, a god or, you know, like Demigra from uh, Xenoverse, like a demon god. But even he wasn't that powerful. I mean, Beerus could easily... Beerus couldn't be mind controlled and Beerus knew that he could easily kill him and... Demigrod wasn't an actual god. He was trying to become a god. He was trying to become a demon god. But with all that being said, what do you think? What do you think this Goku Black is? As far as Trunks goes, though, I hope that they do his character justice. I noticed that Akira has been listening to the fans a little bit more. And he's not only taking his own ideas and putting them onto paper, but he's been taking the fan comics, mangas, theories, video games, everything that's had any impact on Dragon Ball he's been taking that and kind of incorporating into the anime we're not having the multiverse tournament which is based off of the Dragon Ball Z multiverse webcomic the um, Trunks coming back 
that could be based off the MMO and Xenoverse. The uh, the Gods of Destruction. And that the Gods of Destruction might have been something he had been planning from the beginning. I remember reading an interview saying that he had uh, always planned on doing that storyline but never came around to doing it. And it kind of makes sense because throughout Dragon Ball Z, the Kais always say they're appointed to be the Guardians of the Universe. And I've always wondered who appointed them. If gods exist in that universe, then who created that? Un who created all of creation? Because who created the Kais? Who appointed the Kais? Where did they come from? Where were they born? Because they weren't always around. They weren't around since the beginning. Apparently, they were appointed. And who appointed them? And that was one thing I've always asked in Dragon Ball Z. And uh, when we got uh, the Z Zeno King, King of Everything, the Omni King, whatever you want to call him. Um, that answered so many questions, but at the same time it raised so many others. And that's the thing about Dragon Ball, that it's it's not your typical anime. It has so much lore on its own, just for one planet. But they keep going into lore for the universe, and it's got so much going on that we could have so many... We could have spin-offs explaining this and that and what's going on over here. And it, it could easily fit with Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball could actually be a... DC level comic book if Akira Toriyama actually let other people do stuff for it but unfortunately the last time that happened we got Dragon Ball GT so I think he's going to stay close to the anime for now and then maybe in the future we'll get branch offs and different stories side stories one shots maybe future storylines maybe storylines without Goku and Vegeta maybe their great great grandchildren maybe where we actually see badass characters and not like the legacy of a hero hero's legacy i mean for dragon ball gt where it was just goku jr crying for 45 minutes and then having a two minute fight scene towards the end and then finally meeting goku only to find out that he needed seven dragon balls and not just one to wish pan's health back even like it just felt like a waste of time I think that's 50 minutes of my life that I'll never get back. And it, was, it wasn't enjoyable at all. It was just, I'm serious when I say that it was 45 minutes of Goku Jr. crying. I'm not kidding. I mean, I've watched Ice Shield 21, and, and if it wasn't for the fact that Senna was a real bitch, I would probably love that anime to death. But because the main character is such a bitch, and I don't like bitch characters. I didn't like Gohan in the beginning until he really matured. Until he really blossomed into the badass character that he that he was. Now he's a bit of a bitch, but hopefully they bring him back to the way he was in the Cell Saga and the towards the end of the Boo Saga when he was Ultimate Gohan. Trunks has always been a badass character. That's why he's always been so popular. And I'm really happy to see him back. I'm really excited to see what they do with him. I'm excited to see this story unfold. We won't find out until June 12th. I know everyone is anxious. I know a lot of people are covering the subject. They're going to be covering the subject. They release two videos, three videos, five videos a day. They release different videos talking about the subject. They talk to other podcasters. They network. I'm new to the game, so I'm not really connected with all of them. Maybe as I grow, I'll be able to talk with Geekdom and Inner Unreal Gen Gaming and hopefully all those other guys. And I look forward to working with them in the future. But let me know in the comments below what you think Goku Black is. Um... As far as him being Goku in the future, I I don't believe that that theory is very credible because of the simple fact that Goku's timeline does not directly affect future Trunks' timeline. So there's no way that these actions affect make the consequences that affect this timeline. And you know there are a lot of fans, and and you know I'm gonna address the fans right now. There are a lot of fans that are calling this arc filler. I'm sorry, I don't I don't like to insult people, but that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. This storyline is made by Akira Toriyama. Yes, right now Dragon Ball Super is in filler, but it's like four episodes of filler and then we get storyline. Or no, more, more than four episodes, but you know what I mean. This is not filler. This is a main part. This will directly affect the entire series. It will impact the series and change the direction that it is going. Yes, we are still getting the tournament later on. Could that be the end of the series? Could it be the next arc after this? We don't know. There's so much Akira has to offer for Dragon Ball. And, and since he's not directly working with the anime, he's just outlining what it is. And the, it's up to the writers and animators to kind of map it out. And it's up to Toro Taro to write the manga. 
Akira has more leisure time and he can think about it more and he can do this and that and he, it won't burn him out like it did with Dragon Ball Z because with the Majin Buu arc as good as that arc was it was not it was no android or cell saga and it kind of felt like he, he you could tell towards the end of it he was already burned out and he was really call it a day so I'm really excited like I said I'm excited I want to see where this goes I'm there's so much that has has to be answered and we will find out more as time progresses and I will release another video hopefully within the next day or so I release two I believe Sunday morning uh, I just I'm doing one right now it's Wednesday morning I've never done three of this Dragon Ball 24-7 uh, podcast in a single week you know I've never even done two in a single day I've only probably done one a week and that's and I'm so excited as this channel grows you know the videos are growing and I want to thank everyone so let me know like I said and I keep repeating myself at this point and I'm, I do apologize but um, let me know in the comments below what you think what are your theories I would like I would love to hear what you think about everything and also we have a discussion forum on the Geeks Five Over YouTube channel if you have any uh, if you have feedback input ideas suggestions whatever it is let us know we will listen to you we listen to our fans our followers our our friends our family we listen to everybody and we do take your your suggestions and we are open to criticism yes I noticed that I do stutter sometimes and I kind of miss my words and I'll kind of pause for a second you know I have ADD and eight so you know just bear with me <laughs> as I make videos I do get better like the first time I was making them I was like uh, very uh, hi welcome to uh, geeks five ever yeah well I've changed so anyways please like and subscribe like this video subscribe to our channel check out our friends also I will link Leon's uh, Robin's Facebook page in the description below so make sure you check out his fan page hit the like button also for our Texas followers we are hosting a Texas cosplay contest you can check out all the details on the geeks five ever Facebook page it's facebook.com slash geeks five ever you have until May 20th to enter the contest also check out our geeks ever gaming uh, we will upload another Dragon Ball 24 7 podcast really soon because this subject is still really big and we're still getting details as the days go by everyone is excited I hope you guys are all excited I know there's some people that are upset with the way the trunks looks that's not a final design that's a sketch I'm pretty sure that he'll look a lot cooler in the anime they won't make him look like Gohan like a bitch <laughs> I'm Jesse Goku and stay classy.